My family does a lot of cooking in the kitchen, and with that cooking, we do a lot from scratch. Now, one of the most important tools we use in the kitchen isn't anything I have out here, it's actually my kitchen scale. Now, a lot of people think about the kitchen scale in terms of a tool they use to measure out portions if they're on a diet, make sure they're not eating too much. That is a great tool to do that. But it's also great when you are doing cooking with ingredients as a way to measure out your ingredients without using other devices. I'm going to make an example this morning by cooking pancakes for my family. Now I've laid out what I would typically need to use. We've got our ingredients, flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, and egg, butter, and milk, and the tools I need to measure those things. A measuring cup for the milk, a cup and a half for my flour, a tablespoon for my sugar, teaspoon for baking powder and salt, half a teaspoon for the baking powder. I've got a knife and a ramekin for my butter. By using the kitchen scale, I can get rid of all of these. Now, when you're buying a kitchen scale, the important thing is that you get a kitchen scale that can measure in grams. You need to be precise if you're going to use it to measure out these ingredients. You also want one that can zero out so that I can put the bowl directly on it and take the measurements. That doesn't cost a lot of money. I think this kitchen scale we've had for a couple of years and got it from Bed Bath & Beyond for $20. So, we're going to go ahead and get started here. My flour, I need a cup and a half of flour. All ingredients you buy from the store on the side package are going to tell you what the serving size is and give that information in grams. You can do the math then to convert from, in this case, cups into grams. I write these down in my recipes we cook a lot so we always know what the conversion is. A cup and a half of flour is 204 grams. I can just now pour this directly into my bowl. Okay. Sugar, we need 12 grams. I'm going to zero out my scale. Salt, 6 grams. Baking powder, 17 grams. Milk. Now, milk's good, I just want to do this in ounces. So I'm going to change from grams to ounces on my machine, and we need 10 ounces. One egg. Don't even need to be on the scale for that. And three tablespoons of butter. Now, with the butter, I've already melted it ahead of time in my ramekin. I could have melted my butter directly in this container and saved it. However, I like to add my butter at the end with the other wet ingredients. There we go. That is everything. And the only mess I've made is the mixing bowl itself, my ramekin, and a knife that I can actually use when I eat the pancakes. I'm ready to mix, cook, and eat. Thanks.